Hello. Okay, here we go again with Haskell and, and LCL. Um, yeah, I've been kind of distracted with um, with another project. So it's been a while since I didn't touch this. And um, yeah, let's get things moving again. Uh, I think I'm, we're going to work on the screens, screens transitions today. So let's take a look at the game. So at the moment, um, well, let's see if I can get no. At the moment, when yeah, I'm going to change the stage because this is not very comfy to test testing, right? So at the moment, when you get to the exit, it just goes to the other uh, to the next map, um, and I don't like it. It doesn't look great, I think. So let's move the player next to the exit. So it's easier to test, right? So what I was thinking is um, do some sort of screen transition. Um, something simple um, so it doesn't look like that so yeah and I don't remember how this works um, I mean I was looking a little bit at the code before uh, I started the stream the streaming I started the stream and and I found that this thing has been growing organically for a while and I'm looking at it after a couple of weeks without playing with the code and yeah I think I probably should be finishing this game as soon as possible <laughs> because it's getting to, to a position that I mean I'm starting to think that I might not finish it um, if it gets, keeps getting you know growing like this um, and I don't want to write anything or you know unless it's extremely necessary because this project was a small, small project uh, just to learn, right? So it's not that important what we get. You know, it's not. It's important that we get somewhere, but it doesn't matter how we get there, or you know. So, yeah. Okay. So at the moment, it's kind of a little bit all over the place, to be honest. So we got the game loop that can run play loop or game over loop. So that kind of suggests that, you know, in the same way that the game over loop is like a different screen, right? That basically, um, it shows this screen. is the code we can see here right so we get the game of the sprite uh, we do the UI blah, and we draw everything and it shows this um, and the only thing it does is the raise, raise the controls controls and if we press button A which in keyboard is set you know it goes back to here uh, and if we play in in the in the play loop it does different thing. It updates all the entities and blah blah blah. But looking at this here, I'm not completely sure this is, this is correct because so so basically the game loop receives a copy. You know, it receives an environment. And it executes, you know, it is with some IO, right? So I'm thinking by by looking at this, and you know, if I didn't know the person writing this code, like I would think, well, play loop, game over loop. Um, I would guess we need to do some transition, right? But in that case, I see this update state here. This update state is only called 
is fed to the play loop. So that makes me think that all this here should be in the play loop and not where it is. So let's move that over because it's very confusing as it is. Okay. And this gets the entity, so um so I guess we need to do update the state. Of this no <laughs> okay so so we update all after the update state right and so which one goes first so by looking at, at here update state goes first and then we inject that to play loop so I guess we need to do the same right So data state entities and uh, now uh, the environment. Yeah, it's going to be funny now. Because this is not how it should be. Okay, right. So we're going to do play loop update toaster environment. And the toaster environment is because of those notifications that we implemented some time ago uh, for when you plug your game controller it shows a toast it's a UI element that basically pops from the bottom of the screen shows a little bit and goes down right um, and it depends on the controls that's fine let's forget about that but that's what we're going to to pass to the play loop so now in the play loop, we will have to use update a state that requires the environment and returns ion bar, which is kind of what we are going to do here. But update all receives the entities. Is this changing the entities? No, this is changing the environment. And as part of the environment, aha, Yes, we may change the entities. So I think. Hmm. Do we update the state after the entities have been updated? I think that's probably the way to go. Okay, so this is fine. Uh, and then we can do uh, update the state and we need to do this I think so what is this state coming oh because the entities can change the state right Okay, 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 okay. So I believe this pretty much is we're going to get in here. Now the difference is that the map is never going to change here. The map why are we taking the map in there? This is funny. I don't think anything can change the map here. Um, no. Nothing. Because... So this is what we get the viewport. I think it's because at some point I was planning to do something else. But let's just for the sake of... You know, let's try that. Okay, so this should be equivalent, right? Should be 
Two minutes. Should be the same. We should be better actually because I don't think what we why I don't understand why we're passing a copy of the map. Oh I know now. Because we are updating the map. And this is because we're updating the map animations. Why? Yeah, we need to do this. Because yeah. See, it's growing organically. I mean, I have lost control completely about this. Well, it's working the same. Uh, so I believe this is fine now, right? See any reason for this to not work? Yeah, it's the same. And it makes more sense, right? Because why was that update happening here? If this only made, has effect in the play loop, right? So, so this, this was wrong. Um, so let's, let's commit this because it was definitely wrong. It was not the right place for that to happen. So, um, So this is uh, the dead state of, of the uh, play loop in the play loop. All right, so that was that was definitely wrong what it was. See, I mean, maybe it's not a, that bad to leave the code rest a little bit, right? For a couple of weeks. Because if you don't understand anything when you come back, that was that code was bad. And you also might find cases like this one that it did makes a lot of sense. So now uh, right, okay. So this is now updating what it should be updating in the right place. Um, does it have to be IO M IO? Mm. Yes, because it has IO here, right? loading the map for example okay fair enough i think that this now is hopefully okay um blah, 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 blah. all right so this was because we went to do a transition so what i was thinking uh so the trigger to get to the game over loop so I don't know what this is doing, but there you go. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of complicated because... Okay, so let's rem remind ourselves how this works. Um, okay, so in update state, the level complete is... Let's go backwards, because it's probably easier. So, um, in a state, we have... I don't know why... It's not taking me... What is a state? State. Uh, it's coming from date all. Uh, and it's called duplicating the state. So, okay, let's navigate through here. So, a state. So, the state has the state, right? Of the game. So, the current level, level completed. Uh, and level completed is an exit state. So, it could be... Exit is off, so there's no exit on the screen. We're playing exit entry. I don't know why I call it that. Oh, I think it's because this is the exit, is the door that that opens, you know. So the door, if I don't remember, I don't remember. But looking at the exit, that's the one we care about. So yeah, there you go. So the exit it does it updates itself. Update loop, and then uh, blah, 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 blah. so action exit started. Amazing. Uh, the actions are in the entities, perhaps. 
Yeah, we need to really look. Okay, yes. Do, do, do. There you go. So, action exit started. What it does is. Level completed moves to exit started. So, that's what is changing the. That's the way for the entities to change the state. They create actions. And those actions tell the entity, entity manager, or, well, you know, we have a name for it to basically make changes and effects in other entities or the state. So in this case, we say in actions, action exit started. What it does is just says the level completed to the exit started, which is exit started. And I believe that has the effect to disable the updates of the player, for example, because, isn't it? Yeah, because when you are getting through the door, the player is going to disappear you're not going to be moving around right um yeah the player is not in the action i mean there is a comment here the player is not in the action changing the data is even the collision detection yeah i don't know man just like this type of side effects what i was thinking um anyway so so that's how it works with the door so i guess Uh, this is when we touch the door so we are exiting let's take a look at the game so when we touch the door see the player start, disappears and we start the animation to to do the thingy if it's touch and then if the set is not a closer effect, we do that. Otherwise, update once, which is the door effect, which is the door disappearing. And we have an action that is exit done. And exit done, what it does, it says the level complete to exit done, update the state. And that is what in the game here, somewhere, yeah, level complete, exit done, loads the next map. Right? Okay. So, I guess... Um, one way of dealing with this transition will be um, because this update state is going to replace the entities completely so when we get to level completed it loves a new map and spawns the entities so that means that we're going to draw the next map already. And if we want to have the transition like we do with the play loop and the game over loop, like a transition loop, this can be like that. I think this should be part of the transition. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. we were looking at, yeah. See, this game over the delay, this is kind of awful because we should unify the these types together and call it, I don't know, play state or game, I, mean, I don't want to game, game state because this is still right, this is state already, but play state perhaps, 
and then when we update the game over delay when we update the game over delay that is happening here change the state and then just check that in here hey racing the beam how you doing so I think we should be doing that so um, can I rename this to we'll call it play state and good things What's the next goal? Good question. Um, so I'm looking at I'm going back to Haskell, and what we're trying to do is when we change stage, I want to make a transition instead of just changing the map like that. Uh, and then because I haven't touched the code in at least two weeks, I re I'm starting to think that this is not very clean and I'm making changes so refactoring I guess so I'm thinking okay so let's leave this like this so but then I don't need to call it I don't need to call it exit off right uh, so let's call it in play. So accidentally, <laughs> what? I don't know what it means. Uh, so is that what we use when? No, uh, it's in it's in entities, right? When we execute the actions. Oh, wait a minute! I did a rename here, right? So if I do a rename and I call it in play. Oh, now it changed that. It didn't change the last time. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, instead of level completed, let's call it play state. Is it doing it? No, it didn't do it. it, did it. It just got, got confused and, and kind of broke things. All right, okay. It's going to break everything and we'll have to do a lot of... So, anyway, let's test refactor. So, exit entry now. into stage for example um, <laughs> I don't know this is working uh, so into stage exit started exit done does I like it in play okay fine um, so let's change things here um, so level, level completed is now uh, like say and then it's going to complain about everything so it's not exit off is in play right it's not level completed because it didn't do the uh, okay so play state it's going to make more sense when I finish. It's going to be better and we're going to like it, right? 
Uh... Oh, because I broke this. Uh... This is not... Okay, it's quite a little. Why did I change this one? That one was was okay. This is fine, okay. Alright. Play state. Uh, I think something... No, it, it broke something. When I did try to do the rename, it got very confused and it broke something. Okay. Maybe, I mean, I have replayed, I can watch the video later. And then realize that it was me. Um, okay. So that shouldn't change anything. I mean, it's not really done. So that is where in game. Why is oh because it's not saved. Hmm. Haskell language server is failing me today. Even to the rename. Oh, okay, so that is the same. I mean, why it would be different, right? We just changed words. We didn't change any code, really. Okay, that is fine now. Um, and why are we doing this? Good question. I hear you ask, why are you doing that? Mm, 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 mm. I don't know anymore. Uh, because I thought it was a good idea. Okay, so here, uh, in play, interstate, exit at the exit on. Aha! Game over. Alright. And now in game. So this is when we do the delay. Uh, this is going to be better now. We do that. Um, then here what we're going to do is blah 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 it's going to be no play state is going to be uh what it's going to be game over I don't know if we need to do this like this, but for now it's fine. Okay, so that's going to say the play state to game over. It's going to have the benefit that now in the actual game loop we can use that here to decide things. So we can do case of um, no case state play state. Which is going to be much better than what we have at the moment. So uh, if it's game over, then we do the game over loop. Right? And otherwise. is much better and it prepare uh, the code already to do what we want to do which is adding transition right <laughs> nice I like it 
to why I play state this game over. Because probably I initiated that to the wrong thing. So yeah, yeah, I know what is going on here. It's because this is wrong. So a game of delay. We do blah 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 blah. Um I guess this is not what we want really. We want a no, we want to, to destroy chances. Uh, so we want to decrease the game over delay always. And then decide at the end what do we do with it. If we do this or that, right? So let's do that. Uh, delay is going to be state game over delay minus one. Um, do I really need to do it like this? Uh, I think I might not need to. So now if delay is bigger than zero, um, we can do something like this. Delay is bigger than zero, then delay, right? Otherwise, then we set the environment to game over, stay to game over. And this is broken now because I'm missing a phrase. Now, question is, okay, you're going to tell me, yeah, why are you doing that? That's, that's ridiculous and it's absolutely right so yeah okay so we change the delay then actually we can also do the same for the environment right because we can do Um, I mean, this doesn't really need to do, it doesn't do, I, I, it's the same thing, I'm not going to change anything really. Uh, Alright, if I do this, it will look nice, nicer. Meh. Okay, let's see if, if I fix it now. Is it fixed? Yes, it is. Okay, so that this is starting to look more what I was expecting. Um, because now play state controls the door in and out. I guess even in the player itself. While well, it's checking the property because it doesn't have access to the state. Fair enough. Um, what was that comment I was reading about? Okay, so. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Identities here. There is some funny business going on. I mean, there is a lot of funny business going on here, but the one I'm talking about is in update all. If the player player state is not in play, then we don't update the player, which is going to be good. Well, it doesn't matter, but it's going to work as well with the transition. Okay, so this. Mm -hmm. So this, what it does is, um, okay. So this is um, OK, 
Okay. So that includes the game over now. Cool. So. So now. This is starting to look more like it. Because. We have game over, play loop, and. And we can do as well. Um, exit drive. So we have left this, the stage, right? Which means that he can do this. Hmm? Because it's ugly that it's actually doing it. So it's throwing the next one. No, 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 I don't like it. So um, in here, we can do, for example, there's a stage. Why not? Do we have map and all that stuff? It really doesn't matter. We can actually... We don't care. So we can do... Something like this. And it's going to be wrong, but we can... I can fix it. And here... We don't care about this one anymore. Cool. Now there is some stuff broken in here because it has to be what? It has to be this one. Okay, we can pass the environment. Why not? So, so next stage is going to be environment to IOM. Sorry. And it's, ha it's happy about everything, right? And this makes more sense. Does it? Okay, so there's been a, a little bit of a blink in there, isn't it? Uh, but I think it's fine because what we were getting before is so it was part of the play loop that it was replacing everything and it was drawing the new stage right but now when we do next stage in here, we're not drawing anything, right? We just return in the environment. And I believe, oh, okay, so this next stage, it really doesn't need to be here. It could be another function like play loop and game over loop. And that next stage is the one that can do the transition. Make sense? Does it make sense? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it as another function. So let's put it down here in between the game over loop. So let's keep the naming convention, although I don't know why I call it loop. This is inside a loop. So exit is done. We do the next stage loop. And the next stage loop is going to be running 
until we do this bit here right so we can do in reality this has to be a function right It's going to be the next stage. I mean, I mean, I don't like significant waste space too much. I'm not very good at it, apparently. So, and I mean, just see if it's not doing anything. Next stage. It's not doing anything. <clears throat> but we're going to the transition now. Okay, so what we do in the transition? Um, well, we're going to draw. So looking at the play play loop, we need to. Uh, we don't update anything. Okay, so let's get. It's going to be very similar to this, I believe. Isn't it? Uh, but not really, because... We're not going to take the entities or anything. Let's uh, call it... E. So we need to get the player position to get a win. So all this stuff is required to, sorry, what was this? Updated? What is updated? Oh, the entities. Uh -uh. It's fine because that is entities. And the state is the environment state because we haven't changed anything. And player position. What is this expecting? It's expecting the entities. What? What? Uh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know what I was doing that because I started doing it and then I couldn't stop. I, it's, I think it's because I. I don't know, I changed something. I was using uh, records in a different way. I probably need to clean that. Okay, okay, okay. So these guys are the things. Uh, place the map animations. No, we don't need to play the map animations. I will do a transition. So this is just render the map and the entities and nothing is going to be frozen, right? So this, I believe, it needs a counter. Uh, or somehow we need to track The animation for that transition and when it's finished I don't know I mean it looks ugly to repeat all this code that is what play loop is doing right but play loop is going to update the state but in reality this is what we want isn't it so This is now M anymore. I changed it for whatever reason. I mean, if I'm not using, I'm not sure why I'm doing it like this. So I need to do a clean up and just stop doing that silly bit because I mean, I'm using records. So why do I need to extract that? So this is kind of repeating things. I don't like it. I don't like it.
like it. Um, but let's see how it looks and then I can change it. So next stage. I mean, do, do we really need these, all these? Because in reality, um, let's look at this. Oh, because we don't have a, that available. It's outside here. See? Oh, no, that could be great, actually. So... So we have the canvas. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's going to be perfect. So, next stage, stage loop. We don't need any of these. Okay, so that this might be a little bit crazy. So, um, so the canvas is a texture, right? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh man. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking, if I have, because the canvas is. So basically, we uh, okay. So I use a texture that I call canvas because I draw to that canvas, and that's what I'm doing the resizing, uh, the resize of the the scaling or whatever you call that. So so basically, to do the rendering big pixels, right? Type of pixel art. What I do is I. I mean, you don't really need to do it like that, but I do it because, ooh, what did I do? Why is everybody? Oh, get out. It's because when I do the full screen, I use that to center the canvas and do it pixel. Perfect. What did I do? I, d I did some magic key combination and I think I killed one of my workspaces yeah I killed one of my workspaces how did I do that so I have now everything in one workspace that was very destructive anyway um so yeah uh, I was thinking can I just get that canvas yeah but I can't because um, can I do that or no if I don't delete the canvas I had the canvas from the previous one so instead of doing a, a clear I just need to do the effect and it keeps whatever it was on that canvas right we are not going to lose the canvas from the previous frame so I guess I mean let's try that it's going to be super cheap uh, So I need the environment because it's the one that we need to replace things in there, right? Um I mean just to see how it looks. I mean, it doesn't need to be like this, but... Ah, uh, no, sorry. Oh, what, what did I do? Actually, uh, 
No, I'm just being silly because the game over loop. before rendering, right? So this one updates the state and doesn't render anything. <clears throat> this one does render. So why not doing it there, right? That's fine. And here, uh, we do the same. Is this render doing any render at all? Yeah, render tile is just a render. Exactly right. It is. So it has to be before. Uh, uh, fine. Okay. So we don't need to do the obedience that I was doing. And so, okay, game over. I think it has to be there. So, an exit done. It's coming here. I mean, we can just share a circuit this and do. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference, and it doesn't make any difference. We haven't changed anything, it's just that we extracted this code from the update loop that was in the wrong place. Okay, so next stage loop. Right, so now I need a way of uh, looping here. How do I do that? How do I do that? Because the only thing we get here is an environment, right? So the environment has this. Um, fine. So, um, so the state has the play state. So X and Dawn can't have an integer. That has the content that we need, right? So now exit done is okay. Uh, hold it. Okay, let's do it like this for now. And here, so process actions X is done and how match. Okay, so what is the what is the weight the width of the game? I don't even know what is that. So uh, game width or something. Is it even here? Get more space on the screen. Game width. Yeah, but it's in game. It's not available. I can't use this. Okay. It's okay. And I can say, you know, something like. Something like this. I don't know. Um, I mean, we can set the number of frames. Like 16 frames, and then we can do a calculation, and that should be okay. Okay, so so now here, um, so exit done, we get next stage loop environment and the content right 
for frames. Because those are going to be frames. Um, which is an integer. Aha, ha, this is going to work, I think. <laughs> um, um, when we load the map, no. So where do we change the state? Uh, wait a minute, there's something I'm missing here. Oh, sorry, I broke this a little bit. So this is the play state. I'm confused. Ah, oh, level state. Ah, uh, there you go. Play state into stage. There you go. This is the level state. Oh man. So many words, so many words, very similar, right? Okay, so now we have frames here. Uh, uh, let's let's do a card, right? We can do the frames is bigger than zero. Then um, I don't never remember how this works. It's equal here, right? Is going to be environment uh, uh, <laughs> play state? No, 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 state play okay. So, state play state is going to be now hold okay. So Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We need to duplicate the state. So state equals state, and then game state uh, play state uh, equals yes. Uh, exit don prime frames minus one. Otherwise, next stage. Okay, and this has to be. Uh, sorry, equals. Ah, huh? what is complaining about? What are you complaining about? The most impressive. Uh, what? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So this is E state. Uh, exit down. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so this is all. The only thing it's going to do is. So when those frames are going down. Uh, Which is going to have a delay, right? Yeah, a little bit of delay. Cool, 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 cool. So this, this is going to do this, fine. But it's also going to do um, I don't know, build uh, red. Okay. And this is going to get as parameters the renderer and maybe a red rectangle. Okay, so uh, see, I mean, I don't need to do the let and just get the things out. I can just do RT render, right? And then I have a nice function here to pass. So it's not it's not you this direct I don't remember uh, I'm not importing that here No I'm not uh, so
can do this because I just don't have that. Yeah, okay, okay. So that gets a lot of integers. X, Y with height. Okay, so X... Uh, do I really need to do it? Yeah, because otherwise all this Mambo Jimbo is too much, right? So it's going to be 0, 0... Uh, And this is game, right? So I know that it's going to be game with Why are you not happy? Oh, because it has to be just this. And why is complaining about this? Ah, oh, because it's saying that. Oh man. Is it from integer or from integral? I never remember. Guys, sometimes these things feel like you really like. I spend so much time converting from one thing to the other, right? Okay, so. Now that should fill something with something for 16 frames, we said, right? Which is black. I like it. Um, but we don't want to do it black. We want to do it with those 16 uh, that we have as a magic number. That number is in entities because, of course. Okay, so so we need to do something with this. Uh, can we just do? Is ah, uh, then it's bigger than zero. Uh, why is it? I don't need those parentheses. Okay, it's bigger, bigger than zero. Otherwise, it's zero, so it's never going to draw. We're never going to have the problem of division by zero, right? What is going to do that? <laughs> well, 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 uh, it has to be constant, right? Mm. So, so basically, I mean, we can do basically the other way around because if we start with zero and then we increase by one we know the limit here right we can say it's bigger than isn't it and i don't need the parentheses thank you thank you thank you i'm going to remove them it's okay um and then here I just need to say frames What? 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 Uh, no, 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 no. It's less. So now it will do. Right? We save ourselves having to draw the, the, the scene again because we have it in the canvas. Yeah, there you go. Wow, amazing. make it faster right oh 
<laughs> didn't look great. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, uh, half speed maybe? I don't know what I'm looking for to be honest. It's just that I wanted to do a transition because I had that in there to do and that to do is something you need to do. Um, does, it doesn't look great. Uh, it probably need to be faster, to be honest. So 10 was kind of okay, but then then it has to wait a little bit in black. Isn't it? Because I, I mean, it, I mean, that's a transition, but. still think all the changes I made today are, are good, but I'm not completely sure if this is worth it. I mean, in my head it was not looking like that at all. Um, so, can I do a... Yeah, of course. I mean, if he had, I think if he had a little bit of a pause in black at the end, before moving to the next one, that would be probably okay. Um, so if it's last, then again, we, we do that. Then it's less the game with plus sixteen or I don't know some frames. Then keep increasing and now frames. So that will add a delay. So why is getting short? I don't understand. Oh, because we always draw the previous one. So Ooh. yeah, it's okay. We can do it like this. close to what I was thinking. Um, I mean, it's not great, but it looks kind of... I 
I think it's fine. Oh, one thing perhaps we can improve is uh, not doing the top. Uh, so hope. So how big is the hood? Okay, so pa, 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 pa. so it's going to be hood. Uh, okay, then this. Um, Okay, I think it's fine. I mean, it's a hot. But who cares? I don't care. Uh, all right. So this does the move to the next stage, and it does a transition. It's not a beautiful transition. It's a transition. I mean, we could have another transition to get into the next stage. I think it's fine. In fact, one thing we can do is... Uh, what is that? It's in the in the entry. Um, I'm thinking we could be even delaying the door appearing, right? But I think that comes from the beginning, I guess. No, 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 no. I think that's something we're doing here, right? Uh, so make entities. And make entities. The fact that the player warping into the level. I mean, when it was warping, now it's a door. But yeah, okay. So we could be delaying this. I don't know. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, yeah, a little bit of cleaning of the code, there is a transition, um, I like it, to some extent. Okay, so... So, ba 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 Yeah, I mean it's much better. What? <laughs> it doesn't make. It didn't make sense to have this in the in the play loop. No, I mean, especially because it was making the change and then drawing the next frame instead of the frame that it was doing the update. That that was not not that good. This is not uh, amazing, but it's okay. Now we have moved the clear to the different loops, but it's fine. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of a small and it definitely having the game over as a player state instead of relying on the value of the counter. That's, that was a good call. Okay, so this is... And I think I can cross this one. Hey, hey, hey. Done. Yeah, I was being super optimistic today. Uh, I mean, considering that, yeah, it's been a while since I touched the code. I was thinking yeah, maybe we can also look at the, at the menus, at the menu. I'm not sure. Menus, menu. Hmm. Maybe menus. 
Um, yeah, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. So the idea was. So S currently quits the game. Uh, but we can send, we can go back to a menu screen and the menu screen will have the title and what? So do I really need a menu or it's just a screen? Um, what are the options that the game is going to have? Like, you know, start the game. But for that, you don't really need, do you really need that? Do you really need a menu for that? I mean, I guess we could have a menu just to show, you know, um, start game, credits. And what I was thinking about the menu, oh, perhaps as an, uh, yeah, it could be an option to, because at the moment when you, what I, what I decided is that when you die, uh, automatically you continue with the stage you were, right? So, because you retry, you didn't start at the beginning. Wait, I mean, I'm dying in stage one, so I'm starting in stage one. But if you're in stage two, you will start in stage two. So, yeah, yeah. or you go to the, to the menu, to the start the screen, and then you start from the beginning. I was thinking, you know, something, something super simple. So I don't know, unless there is need of showing credits or something like that. Um, I don't think there is need to do a menu as, as such, um, but it obviously it needs some something, you know, like a start the screen. Uh, I would have to draw something. And then the idea I had for the stages is that I could, you know, like, for example, you play in Castlevania, you see like the map of the castle and then you go through the stages. I was thinking we could be showing the sil silhouette of a or rocket of a spaceship and then you are running, you know, a number of stages, like five stages is this part of the map of the, of the spaceship. Um, and in that way, we can keep doing this transition as we're doing now. But when you finish one of those group of stages, uh, when you go to black, then we should, sh you know, we show something like, yeah, you know, complete this section or whatever, you know, level complete or I mean, this is a stage. It could be level. A level has multiple stages. I, I don't know. Something like that. But show something like this. And then you move to the next one, maybe. Uh, no idea. I mean, in reality, we don't need to do any, anything like that. I mean, as it is, it, we could be just jumping to the next, to the next stage, next stage. I mean, at the moment for testing, uh, there are three stages in the third stage. Is the first one again? Um, but I mean, eventually we have a number of them. Now, the problem with doing, you know, one after the other like this is that, you know, how many stages I'm, I'm going to make. So let's say that I, ha I made 50 or, or 25 or 30. Um, yeah, it can be a little bit too quick because the idea is that it's a game that you move very quickly and you need to avoid enemies, blah, 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 and pick up the stuff. Um, but I'm thinking that perhaps doing it everything in one go, I think it's probably better if we have some, some space to breathe for the player. Um, yeah, I was thinking also maybe have some time limit per stage, but I'm not completely sure. If I have a time limit per stage, then when I get to the world, you know, so it could be a time limit for or the level, right? That it could be from three to 10 stages or whatever. When you get at the end, I could be showing a bonus. And because otherwise this game doesn't have a score, really, because you need to get this. 
and to get to the next stage. So as it is, there is no score. The score is you go to the stage number, whatever, and that's it. Uh, which kind of limits the, the game a little bit because without the score, you can't really chase a score. So, you know, it, it is losing opportunities though of game really. Anyway, I need to think about that, not too much, and, and just make something that is complete and, you know, finish it. Maybe release, if someone wants to play it, fine, it's going to be free. Uh, the source code is already available, if anyone wants to play with it. Um, although, yeah, it's not finished at all, but, uh, so... Here you have it. So this is the source code, uh, the stuff I've been working on. Oh no, I haven't pushed. Okay, so yeah, so this is the stuff I've been doing today. Uh, yeah, no, recently I updated the font, really. Anyway, um, so it's open source, you know, in case someone can look at it and yeah, I don't know, maybe someone can learn about the whole not to do things. <laughs> and yeah, do the release and move on. You know, I learned what I wanted to learn. I know how to deal with, uh, you know, how to make a game loop and all of the stuff and make a, a platform game using Haskell. And I mean, this code base is going to stay with me. Uh, so, you know, the entity system and these ideas, maybe I can do something, a, a new game, planning a little bit further, uh, you know, because I didn't have any plan here. I, I don't know what I'm doing. But having a little bit of a plan, I could refine a little bit this because I know already some things that I don't like. Uh, and if I had planned in advance, maybe, you know, all the stuff with the actions, you know, I can refine that. So, you know, plan a little bit in advance and do something more, not serious, but slightly more, you know, with more meaning than this game. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Let's finish this. I still need to do a flying enemy. Uh, don't know what to do with that. I need to decide about map hazards. I'm probably going to add it because otherwise there are not that many enemies. But then I need to think what I'm going to do with the checkpoints. Because I think I have mentioned this before. Um, but, um, but basically... Uh, what I decided here is that when an enemy touch is touching you, the the enemies freeze and you are invulnerable for a bit, which is fine. I don't need to move the player anywhere. But obviously, if you fall into spikes or a field force or toxic water, whatever, um, you can't be there because it's going to keep killing you, right? And there must be a way for the player to get out from there. Uh, and one way is using a checkpoint. Uh, so I have implemented automatic checkpoints in other games and they kind of work, okay. Uh, for example, let's take a look at... It's uh, curse. No, uh, it's not wrong. Uh, this one will work? Yeah, okay. No, it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, damn it. That's, this is not. It's not planned. Really. Actually, this one should have music. Let's take pause and back up music. Too much. Okay, something like that. I hope the volume is not too high. Okay, so the way this one works is, um, so this is an Amstrad CPC game, uh, 64K, um, it's written in C and a lot of set AD assembler. So, so in this game, uh, 
when you touch a, an enemy, it does something similar, so it's going to bounce me back. I'm invulnerable, but, you know, I'm still in the action. Now, if I jump into the water, uh, let's do that again, I lose a life, and it needs to find a place to respawn the player. So this game, every time you touch the ground, uh, for example, if I touch the ground here, and then I jump into the water, it's game over. Okay, let's try again, because I, I have this in my life. So, basically, okay, so the game, uh, the mechanic is very simple. Yeah, you are a ninja spy, which is always something really cool to be, right? A ninja spy. Um, there was some sort of curse and coming from the golden tail, which is a magic stone, blah, blah, blah. So you are kind of like a half man, half, half man, half fox. And... But you still have your ninja abilities that basically you you can be invisible for a short period of time and during that time you can jump higher, run faster, and the enemies can't really hurt you. So I mean I mean I can still talk here and it's fine. But if the enemy is going to touch me and I do this, you know, I can pass through and it's not going to hurt me. You know, I can't jump over the water without using the magic, but if I use the magic, I can I can go far, right? So that's the basic, me basic me uh, mechanics. So every time I touch the ground, the game is setting. If I touch the ground in a safe place, so like here, uh, the game is going to set a checkpoint here. So if I jump far away and go to the water, I jump. You know I. It responds the player in in that position, location. So that this is a very simple way of doing uh, checkpoints. So I mean the mechanics are similar to the game I'm working on in Haskell, right? So basically every time uh, the gravity is kicking in and I touch the ground and I stop falling, I need to update. You know I need to keep those coordinates. Which means that if I jump here and I walk a lot, I oh know it's game over again. Let's play it up again. I don't remember how it works, but I think. Well, I could be doing it as well if you're walking, right? As long for so if I jump here and I go walking, now it's where it jumps. Perfect. So you know it's very simple, really, and and as long as you're level design doesn't allow you to be placed in a in in a position where uh you can't really get out because that would mean that you know you die and and then you're going to respawn again in a place where you're going to die right so for example spikes if I die there, I can't really, I can't respond it there, right? So it's the same, it's the same idea. Um, so this is very easy to implement. So I'm probably going to do something like this. Um, and that will um, fix the problem. And I think the levels will be very, very much, in, you know, more interesting if you need to also avoid um, that kind of stuff like I mean looking at the map currently I mean look at the number of tiles I mean even considering the animation there are not many tiles right so I also need to draw more tiles and so the stages look a little bit more interesting than this but if you all need to navigate the screen uh, collecting the items that you need to, to the, for the door to open uh, if you not only avoiding the enemies, you need to avoid some tiles that you can step in because, you know, toxic water, magic fields, or, you know, it could be magic, uh, magic fields, uh, force fields that could be on and off based on time. You know, all that stuff is kind of very simple. Um, yeah, I think that would be really good to have some, 
some nice stages to play. Anyway, so that's the idea. Um, so for the next day, I'm not completely sure. Uh, oh yeah, pause, resume, quit, options. Yeah, stage selection. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about the menu. Yeah, maybe for the next time I can start working on the things that can kill you in the map that are not enemies and implement the checkpoints. So this could be, I think this is going to be the next one. Unless I can draw a playing enemy. <laughs> because I tried already a couple of times and I couldn't really get anything. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, so this is going to be all for today. See you next time. Bye 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 bye.